I'm getting ready to paint some interior doors with some oil-based enamel paint. And oil-based enamel paint is real thick and it's difficult to put on without getting it, uh, it's difficult to put on without getting uh, additional brush lines in, in the paint. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use one of these Prevail sprayers. And if you've never used these, I've used these to paint cabinets and to paint interior doors. Because of the very smooth finish you get with it, you get a spray finish instead of a, a finish that has brush lines in it. And again, when you're painting with an all-based enamel, what you're typically doing on cabinets and in any of your trim work in your doors, um, it's kind of a pain putting a oil-based enamel on with a brush because what happens is it flashes very quickly. And then if you go back even as little as one minute later, you go back to brush it again with the brush, it starts smearing and you don't get a good finish. So again, these are easy to use. They're, they're not very expensive. I think they're about $5 and you get the bottle and the sprayer. A couple of things about it is you, you should strain your, your paint before you put it in there. I find that it doesn't work very good with the little strainer they have in here. So I take the strainer off, um, put your paint in there, and then you want to use it vertical because there's a little hole here. And if you turn it uh, flat like this and try to paint, it, it plugs up the little hole. But if you do it vertical, it works real well and it's very easy to clean up. So we're going to show you how to use that today. When you're using an, an oil-based enamel, if you look at the chart they give in the, on the uh, that it comes in for a uh, white alkaline oil-based enamel, you use three parts of paint with one part of thinner, and you're using mineral spirits to thin with. So I have one of these measuring cups here, and that's what I've already done. So one thing you can see is when, when you thin that, that oil-based paint out, it's pretty thin. And you have to get it thinner than what it comes in the can for it to, uh, to spray with this system. But again, it works real well. I even uh, normally put two coats of spray on it. And, and uh, you normally put two coats of spray on it and you'll get a real good finish.
when I do large projects, I actually keep two bottles full and ready because when you spray for a long time, this, this can starts getting uh, very, very cold and uh, it starts spraying uh, a little bit less. So what I do is when it gets real cold, I just put it on the side, grab the other bottle and just keep changing bottles. Uh, it works better if you just keep putting light coats on it because when you thin down the all base paint, if you're not careful, it will start running uh, if you put it on too thick. So if you want like two coats of paint on these doors, I put three light coats on it. it comes out about the same as if you put two coats on with a brush. One thing about painting with a spray, a spray can is it's a lot faster. You can see I it took less than a couple minutes to paint this whole door and uh, so you can cover a lot more ground faster.